Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let's see how to solve this given question. Here we need to find out the direction cosines, the two lines, which are connected by the relations L minus 5M plus 3N equal to 0 and the other relation is this. Fine. So it's relatively an easy question. Now how I'm going to begin is, let's just write down the first relation with L minus 5m plus 3n is equal to 0. This is my first relation. Now I'm going to simplify it a little. So I'm going to write this as L equal to 5m minus 3n. Okay. I just simplified the first relation. Next. What is my second relation? This one 7L square plus 5M square minus 3N square equal to 0. 7L square plus 5M square minus 3N square is equal to 0. Now, what is my L? L is nothing but 5M minus 3N. That's what I'm going to substitute here. So, 7 into 5M minus 3N whole square plus 5m square minus 3n square is equal to 0. Okay. Now the simplification will begin. So stay alert. So this will be nothing but 7 into this a minus b whole square. This will be nothing but a square 5m whole square plus b square minus 2ab 2 into 5m into 3n plus 5m square minus 3n square. 5m square minus 3n square is equal to 0. Okay. Now next, let's continue simplifying. This would be nothing but 7 into 5m whole square is 25m square. 25m square plus 9n square minus 2 5s are 10 or 10 3s are 30 minus 30m in plus 5m square minus 3n square plus 5m square minus 3n square is equal to 0. Next. Now multiply this. What is 725 is 175. So this would be nothing but 175 m square. 7 nines are 63. So 63 n square plus 63 n square. And 7 into minus 30 m. So minus 210. Minus 210 m. -N. So plus 5 m square minus 3 n square is equal to 0. Now, let's see what are the like terms that are available. So, 175 m square plus 5 m square. 175 plus 5, 180. So, 180 m square. 180 m square and next, uh, minus 210 mn is there as well. So, minus 210 mn. 63 n square minus 3 n square. So, 63 minus 3 is 60 plus 60 n square plus 60n square is equal to 0. Now, uh, these are pretty big numbers, right? So what we could do is we could take something common. Now, what is that common which I'm going to take? I'm going to take 30 common from each of the term because 36 are 180, 37, 210 and 32 are 60. So 30 I can take common from these three terms. So this would be nothing but 30 into, uh, as I mentioned, 36 are. So here I'll be left out with 6m square. Uh, here I'll be left out with minus 7mn. Here I'll be left out with 2n square is equal to 0. Now, uh, send this 30 here. So, fine. So, hence, I'll be left out with this. 6m square minus 7mn plus 2n square is equal to 0. Now, let me start factorizing this. Let's do it here only. So fine. So 6m square. See this minus 7mn, I'm going to write it as minus 4mn minus 3n. Okay. Minus 4mn minus 3mn plus 2n square is equal to 0. This factorization, uh, what I did. Now, this is the first step of factorization. Now, uh, in these two terms, I can take m common. I can also take 2 common. So if I'll take 2m common, if I'll take 2m common, so here I'll be left out with 3m since, since it is 6m square. Uh, 
one two is gone, one m is gone, so I'll be left out with two n minus two n. Next, in these two terms, in these two terms, uh, I can take minus n common. I'm going to take minus n common because here I'm getting my three m and minus two n. I want the similar one here as well, so that's why I'm going to take minus three. My, I'm sorry, I'm I'm going to take minus n common. I'll take minus n common. This will come with practice. If I'll take minus n common, so I'll get uh, here 3m minus 2n equal to zero. Now, in these two terms, 3m minus 2n is common. So let's just take 3m minus 2n common. Sorry for that. So if I'll take 3m minus 2n common, uh, I'd be left out with 2m minus n is equal to zero. Okay. So here my factorization is done. Now, therefore, my first one is 3m minus 2n is equal to 0 or 2m minus n is equal to 0. Next, 3m is equal to 2n or 2m is equal to n. My purpose is to write everything in terms of n. That's why I'm convert, trying to uh, find out m in terms of n. So, send this 3 here. So, I'd get m equal to 2n by 3 or m equal to n by 2. I send the 2. Okay, now you could say one part this question is done. Next, I'm going to take my case 1 as m equal to 2n by 3. Case 1, m equal to 2n by 3. Okay, now what is my L? What is my L? L is nothing but 5m minus 3n. So L is nothing but 5m minus 3n. So here, what I get is 5 into 2n by 3 minus 3n. So this would be nothing but 5 twos are 10. So 10n by 3 minus 3n. So now let's take LCM. This 3 will go here. Uh, 3 3s are 9. So I'd get 10n minus 9n by 3. So 10n minus 9n is n. So this would be nothing but n by 3. L is nothing but n by 3. Now let me find out L is to m is to n. L is to m is to n. L is nothing but n by 3. And m is nothing but 2n by 3. Uh, n would be nothing but just n. So now what I can take cancel out, n I can cancel out. So I'd be left out with 1 by 3 is to 2 by 3 is to 1. Okay, now. Now here there is there are fractions, okay. So since this is a ratio, I could multiply a number of all three. So here the denominator is 3. So I'm going to multiply the entire ratio with 3. All terms in ratio with 3 basically. So this would be nothing but 1 by 3 into 3 is to 2 by 3 into 3 is to 1 into 3. So what I'd get? 1 is 2. So 3, 3 would get cancelled here. And 3, 3 would get cancelled. I'd be left out with 2. And 1 into 3 is 3. So I got L is to M is to N as 1 is to 2 is to 3. Therefore, Therefore, my drs of L1, which is nothing but equal to A1 comma B1 comma C1, A1 comma B1 comma C1 is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3. Okay, but don't just stop here. Okay, don't just stop. Why? Because they are going to uh, they are they are asking us to find out DCs. Okay, for DCs, nothing much. Just what you need to do is divide it by under root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. Very simple. So, therefore, therefore, DCs of L1 is nothing but 1 by under root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square, comma, 2 by under root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square, comma, 3 by under root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. Pretty simple, right? Once you get the DRs, once you get the DRs, all you have to do is, is divide it by root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. 
that's it your job is done now just simplification just simplification so i'll show you show it to in the next page so this is nothing but equal to uh 1 by under root 1 plus 4 plus 9 comma 2 by under root 1 plus 4 plus 9 comma 3 by under root 1 plus 4 plus 9 so this is nothing but 1 by root 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 9 is 14 1 by root 14 comma 2 by root 14 comma 3 by root 14 so one part of the question is done we have complete successfully complete we have successfully find out dcs of line 1 now i need to find out dcs of line 2 for that same process but only thing is that see first i took m as 2 and by 3 now i'm now i'm going to take m as n by 2 if i'll take case 2 case 2 m, m equal to n by 2 case 2 case 2 m equal to n by 2 okay so uh, what is my l l is nothing but 5m minus 3n 5m minus 3n which is nothing but 5 into n by 2 minus 3n which is nothing but 5n by 2 minus 3n okay, i'll continue this here so l would be nothing but if I'll take LCM, uh, send this to here. So I get 5n minus 6n, 5n minus 6n by 2. So L is nothing but minus n by 2. Now next, again, I'm going to find out L is to m is to n. Uh, L is to m is to n. L is to m is to n would be nothing but L is nothing but uh, minus n by 2 is to m is nothing but n by 2 is to n is nothing but just n okay now as usual strike off n so this would be nothing but minus 1 by 2 is to 1 by 2 is to 1 okay now next as i told since my here my denominator is 2 multiply the entire each term of the ratio with 2 so what i get minus 1 by 2 into 2 is to 1 by 2 into 2 is to 1 into 2 fine now next uh, 2 2 would get cancelled here i'll be left out with minus 1 here i'll be left out with 1 here i'll be left out with 2 so my l is to m is to n is nothing but minus 1 is to minus 2 therefore my drs of l2 would be drs of l2 therefore drs of l2 which is nothing but a2 comma b2 comma c2 a2 comma a2 comma c2 it is nothing but uh, these three minus 1 is to 1, minus 1 comma 1 comma 2, minus 1 comma 1 comma 2, minus 1 comma 1 comma 2. It's clear? Now next, next. Sorry for that. Now for DCs, just what you need to do is divide, uh, divide these three terms by sum of squares under root of sum of squares, sum of these squares. That's it. And then your task will be done. Now, DCs of L2 is nothing but minus 1 by under root of minus 1 whole square plus 1 square plus 2 square comma 1 by under root 1 by under root 1 square, I'm sorry, minus 1 whole square plus 1 square plus 2 square comma 2 by under root, same thing, minus 1 whole square plus 1 square plus 2. Fine. So now this is nothing but minus 1 by under root, minus 1 whole square is plus 1 and 1 square is 1 and 2 square is 4, comma. Here, what I'd get is one same thing, same denominator, one plus one plus four comma two by under root one plus one plus four. So this is nothing but minus one by root six. One plus one is two. Two plus four is six, comma one by root six. 
comma two by root six. That's it. My task was to find out find out DCs of L one and DCs of L two. That's it. I found out both of them. Thank you very much for staying with me until now. Not just this. I made questions on other chapters as well. Just go through my channel. You will find out various playlists. Please do check them out. And if you like this video solution, please hit the like button. It will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Once again, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raoul Kela in year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Thank you.